Now, UK GDP shrank 0.3% in the third quarter, more than forecast, confirming the first leg of a technical recession here for the British economy. Let's take a look at the numbers. Year-on-year growth was 1.9%, lower than the 2.4% expected. By this measure, the economy is now 0.8% smaller than it was before the pandemic. The economy grew uh, by a 0.2% jump in the second quarter, according to revised estimates by the statisticians after an initial projection of a 0.1% contraction. Now, the drop in growth in this quarter of 0.3% comes as British borrowing climbed to a record high in November as of yesterday's numbers, reflecting the mounting costs of energy subsidies, debt interests, and the reversal of an increase in payroll taxes. Add into this all that's going on uh, with the consumer. And there's a lot of headwinds at the moment. And sterling is uh, taking a little bit of a battering as well. This is sterling against the euro, that we are now down at levels there, not seen since uh, the middle of November at 113.70, sterling against the euro on the way down. Uh, Against the US dollar, because of the uh, relative weakness for the dollar, sterling is holding up. And you can see we're holding up at the red line here, which is a 200-day simple moving average. In today's session, sterling is up a touch. But to be honest with you, uh, we're now beginning to get some sort of check on reality uh, that the economy is going to perform very badly as we go into and through the beginnings of 2023. For more videos from us here at IGTV, join us on Twitter at IGCom, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.